Welcome to the tutorial of UTM Test TCP. First, you need to log into the UTM Echoed system using this link web portal. Insert your username and password and click the arrow button. You will be directed to the UTM Staff Portal. Drag your cursor to the left side panel and click the UTM Echoed button. You will be inside the Academic Report window. Scroll down and click Test TCP icon button. Course Assessment Report Setting This screen window shows the record list of subject lists according to the current semester session. If you click the Numbers Test System, it will show you the course file record uploads. If the uploaded file is successful, the Evidence panel will change to green. If not, it stays as red color. You will need to upload the file in the Upload Evidence panel. If you are done with the course file upload, click the close button at the right side corner to go back to the default page of the course file menu. Drag your cursor to the course file panel at the top screen and click Course Assessment Report CAR. The process is the same as the course file steps. Self-assessment and reflection setting. Now, click the Self-Assessment and Reflection Panel button at the top screen. Click the Add Green Plus button to add new self-assessment. In here, you need to choose the year. Then you need to insert the goals of student learning, URL if available, beliefs and practices of assessment and evaluation, personal philosophy and self-reflection of teaching development over time and the relation with future goals. Compile with relevant evidence. Implementation of non-convectional T and L setting. This screen displays the record of implementation of non-convectional T and L based on the semester session and subject code. If you want to add implementation of non-convectional T and L record, click the Add New button. Select the session semester, course, non-conventional T and L strategy, evidence URL, workshop related, and the workshop evidence. Then, click Save to go back. Feedback and testimony EPPP setting. Click the Measure of Student Learning panel at the top screen and then click Average Score in EPPP. The screen will display the average score based on the latest 5 years taught subjects. As for the Feedback and Testimony EPPP, it will display the feedback records from the students to the lectures according to subject. Click the magnifying glass icon at the EPPP comment panel and it will show you the comments from the students. Click back and in the feedback and testimony from others, you can click the add new and fill up the form. Select the year, session semester and course. Then, you insert the name of student or alumni, the metric number, and upload the evidence. After you are done, click Save and then click Back. Yearly Validation Setting Now, click Yearly Validation on the top of the screen. This screen shows each rubric has been completely filled up or not. If the green button is displayed, it refers to the record that has been filled. If a red button is displayed, it means that the record has not been filled up. If all the rubrics are filled, action button will allow the lecturer to send and the sending date 
will be displayed according to the date on which the submission is made. Thank you.